Dylan Chin and I'm currently a first year student studying engineering in Seven College, Cambridge. So I'm going to answer a few questions posted by the Osbridge Militia Society to help applicants understand the whole application process better. The first question is how do I feel about my interview experience and how do I prepare for it? Well, when I first received my militia interview offer, I was excited and nervous at the same time because that means I made it to the next stage but that also means that I have a lot of preparation work to be done. During my preparation, I came across this YouTube video posted by Trinity College Cambridge YouTube page where they show an actual interview for an engineering student and I found it really really helpful because they made me realize that my interview was going to be quite technical so I attempted quite a number of challenging maths and physics questions to prepare for it. So I went to, um, I want to study engineering.org, PAT, BMAT and that kind of questions to find some good questions. I didn't feel really good about my interview experience honestly because I believe I did quite badly. But apparently quite a number of successful applicants felt the same way too. So if you felt the same way, don't worry too much about it. And I was able to demonstrate my working through, uh, during my interview but I failed to get one of the questions quite accurately but however I still expressed my thought process to the interviewer and explained why I failed to get to the answer next question is how did I feel when I got my offer letter my examiner level was obviously off the chart as I'm offered a place in, Cam in the Cambridge College that I applied to and it's not just that like I was really thrilled that I stand a chance to study engineering in one of the best universities in the world among other brilliant students the exciting yet challenging uni life was a huge motivation for me to continue putting in effort in what I'm passionate in. The next question is how I can bridge students start? Well, for engineering, the teaching is split into three sections, lectures, labs and supervisions. While lectures and labs are organised by the department, the engineering department, supervisions are actually handled by colleges. We learn our main content through lectures delivered by excellent and experienced lecturers in a lecture hall of 300 students and the understanding of the content is consolidated through example papers set by the uh, lecturers which consists of relevant questions to the content and these example papers are, are then discussed in our supervision with our supervisors and one or two supervision partners since engineering is all about the applications labs are designed to apply the theories that we learn in lectures and observe the physical significance of these theories next question is what are the advantages of supervision? well since it's such a small group I feel like we are really encouraged to ask questions and discuss the content. Being able to me, being able to share my understanding on the content and listen to my supervisor's perspectives was really, really is really, really crucial to me as it allows me to be academic, academically brave and humble at the same time. Supervisors are usually very, very friendly and helpful because they are not here to judge your academic ability but they are here to facilitate your learning process instead. I email my supervisors to ask them questions all the time and they haven't been annoyed at me yet. At least I think so. Well, the last question is students might feel like they are wasting your class spot. Should they still apply? My answer is definitely yes. Honestly, I feel like being able to apply for your observation is such a privilege to me and it's a one in a lifetime experience to go through the whole application process. Throughout my two years of AI work, I feel like I was most academically challenged and intrigued and also curious at the same time during the application season because I get to look for content outside of A level syllabus but at the same time apply my knowledge from A levels and also my readings. I understand that um, the competition can be fierce but I feel like if you made it this far in your academic journey and are at the point of deciding whether to apply to Oxbridge or not, I believe that you should definitely continue your journey and apply to me.